What if each planet replaced our moon? Of course, this means every planet in our solar system. Not every planet out there in its, the entirety of the universe. I'm guessing they just mean our solar system. But welcome back to another video on the channel. Hopefully you guys are having an amazing day today. Okay, it's the first of the month. Wake up, wake up, wake up, it's the first of the month. I didn't wake up like that. I wish I really would have. It would have been epic. It would have been sick. Um, it's actually a Monday, too, so it's like the start of the week on a brand new month. Let's make it a great one, you know? Let's make it a great one. Hopefully, you guys have an amazing day. And maybe you can have an even better one when we find out what if. Me and you. Let's watch this together. You know, me and you. What if each planet replaced our moon? Nothing more needs to be said. Let's go. Imagine if one day you looked up into the night sky uh -huh. and saw Mars or Saturn where the moon was supposed Super to be. Super fucking huge. My that God. would sure turn that our Earth worry, into an alien world. And not just because of the new view. Is that your anus? How would replacing the moon... Uh, <laughs> Imagine you look up one day. You look up one night, you see your anus. <laughs> Anyway, the moon changed the Earth's orbit. What planet could we safely replace our moon with? Ah, uh, that's kind of a hard question. Safest planet? Mars is the smallest, no? Or is that Mercury? Uh, well, and are we what not kind planet of Pluto, would or? be the most disastrous? This is what if, and here's what would happen. If another planet replaced our moon. I mean, easily the most disastrous would be Jupiter. Because Jupiter's fucking huge. I mean, I'm just going to say that off the bat. Like, maybe Saturn? Because of the rings? Either Saturn or Jupiter. It has to be. We can thank the moon for predictable weather, ocean currents, and the circulation of important nutrients. Actually? The moon also helps stabilize the Earth's tilt. Take away Actually. the moon, and the Earth would go wobbling all over the place, and it would cause what I can only describe as climate change on steroids. Damn. But we wouldn't just let the moon take a day off. We would find it a replacement from okay. another part of our solar system. Okay, what if, right? So what if we could? What would happen let's, if we swapped our it, okay. moon let's... with a planet that is 41 times its size? Before we get to that dramatic part, let's talk about Pluto. Okay, Pluto. We are, we are, Pluto we are mentioning look Pluto. Pluto much different than our current moon. It would be smaller, though, and this wouldn't be good for Earth. So That's Pluto, because Pluto is actually smaller than the moon. Tell me why I Loki didn't know that. You learned something new. I mean, I kind of could probably guess. It's, it's not a planet. It's fucking tiny. I mean, if you apparently if you curled up Russia into a ball, if that was possible... Don't know how true it is, but they're they're relatively the same size, they say. If you could curl it up into like the shape of a planet, Russia's land territory, just Russia. You got Pluto. That's what they say. I mean, I think Pluto's a bit bigger, but like they're pretty close. Like that's and that's also some perspective on how big Russia fucking is. Actually, I don't even know how true that is. I'm not gonna hold you. Don't quote me on that. Take that with a grain of salt. I heard that somewhere. Okay, somebody said it. I don't remember where. All I know is somebody said it. I'm not just making that up, okay? Pluto's gravitational pull would be weaker than that of the moon. Earth would begin wobbling all over the place, and it would result in dramatic climate change. All sorts of natural disasters ruining your day. Tornadoes? The moon's gravitational pull is responsible for oh, our daily ocean tides. Because Pluto is smaller than our moon, our ocean tides would become weaker. Actually? This would devastate if- Hey, yo, this is a solve for fucking climate change. This is a, I, I, I have an idea. Let's blow off part of the moon. We'll, so, we'll solve climate change. Now that, how is that for a crazy idea? <laughs> Important ecosystems. I know, all this sounds stressful, but you know what could help ease the stress? Our friends and sponsors oh. for less. You can make for 
soar. To try some, right now you can get your first order. Just go to. If you don't love it, they'll give you a. Get the promo code What If for twenty percent. Okay, okay, where were we? Let's go. Ah, Pluto covering for the moon. Okay. Well, how about a planet that is slightly larger than our Mercury. moon? Mercury. Mercury would look exactly like our moon with its dark gray surface and asteroid craters. And it's only one and a half times the size. Shuts so out Mercury. Its impact on our tidal system so and rise? climate wouldn't be as disastrous. But they would rise. Out of all the planets in our solar system, Mercury would be the safest one to okay. replace our moon. Okay. But so we know I can't where say that about Mars. Having the red planet in our night sky would be quite a sight. All the iron oxide on its surface be would though. glow red. I mean, no more white that would moonlight. be fucking beautiful. I mean, it's not, it's, I don't even think it's the most beautiful planet. I think, in my opinion, Saturn would be probably, it's just, like, because of the ring, it's, it's like, not even, it's kind of not fair. It has that, like, just off the, off the bat, like, advantage on all the other planets, just because it wants to show the fuck off, and it wants to have a fucking ring. I don't know why the fuck it gets to do that. I don't know who, who, who allowed for that to happen. I don't know who gave him the A-OK. -okay. Like, I don't know who checked off on that. Like, I don't know who signed off on it. Like, no other planet has that. And that's why I have to put Saturn there. If I could see Saturn in my night sky as close as the moon, bro, that'd be fucking so sick. That'd be beautiful. I'd go out there, I'd take pictures. I, I would actually post on Instagram. You know how long I've posted on Instagram? I would take a picture at night just, like, posed up against, like, like Saturn. You know, I would, I would tell somebody, yo, like, lay down on the grass right there. Take a picture of me. And I would actually like pose, and then you'd see Saturn. Wouldn't that be beautiful? Wouldn't that be beautiful? But as pretty as that would be, I'm sure he's gonna tell us right now how catastrophic that would also be, wherein maybe I'm not gonna be alive to be able to take a photo, which that would be kind of sad, right? Shining through your window at night. It. Instead, everything would be bathed in an eerie red. God, that'd be sick. <sighs> Mars's stronger gravitational pull would make tsunamis smaller, but it would make normal waves massive. And what? What? What is that even? Huh? Tsunamis smaller, but normal waves bigger? What? How does that even make sense? Because Mars would create stronger tidal forces, Earth's rotation would slow down. The days on Earth would become longer. I hope we'd still uh -huh. keep a 40 hour work week because a 16 hour work day doesn't sound that great. A 60. Wait, 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 wait. The days on Earth would become twice as long? Day doesn't sound that great. Our circadian rhythms would be fucked. I wonder how fast we might be Moving able to adapt on. to that. With Venus in our night sky, we might never experience darkness. Venus is the brightest planet in our solar system. It would reflect 60% more light than the moon. Damn. And because it's three and a half times the size of the moon, it would force the Earth into a binary system. Earth and Venus would rotate each other. How would you force it to do that? How? Wow. It would be beautiful and disastrous. Okay, Simulations why so of a binary system usually end up with planets colliding or merging. Damn. Neptune and Uranus are both ice giants huh? and Uranus. are similar in size. A huge portion of our sky Wait, would it has be taken too? up with a blue-green planet. Only Uranus giants and are similar in size. Wait, another planet has the rings too? Hold on, which one is it? it? Was I tripping? I don't remember. Did it always have the rings? Neptune. I'm not seeing any rings. By the way, it looks so scary. Any like water looking planet, it just freaks the fuck out of me. What? It has rings? Nah. So maybe it's Uranus. Uranus? Why do some of them have rings? Why do some of them draw them with rings and others don't? 
Look, Saturn always has the rings. Is it just because Saturn's rings are just that prominent? He can't not involve them? Mate, I think everything might have, like, because of the gravitational pull, it's obviously going to have some type of rocks, which might make up a small ring. I mean, well, it's small in comparison to Saturn. I'm sure it's probably a pretty big ring. Yeah, I don't ever see them being drawn with rings. I, I thought I didn't. I was like, I know I'm not tripping. I never seen them being drawn with rings. A huge portion of our sky would be taken up with a blue-green planet. Only Uranus would also stink horribly. Oh. No wonder this fart-smelling planet got such a name. Oh shit! Since <laughs> both Uranus and Neptune Uranus. are 14 to 15 <laughs> yeah. times Is that the true, does it actually stink? How would we know that? How do we know that? How do you know what fucking Neptune smells? Size of the moon. They're in Are you just guessing because of its I'm guessing they're guessing because of the chemicals. Packed on Earth's rotation and tidal systems would be drastic. Beach houses would have to be built up on cliffs, far enough away from the reach of enormous waves. Now, seeing Saturn up in the night sky has to be my favorite. Yeah. Me it's too. pale yellow color and Ring system? Those rings would be fucking dangerously close to us, though. I'm not gonna hold you. Would be stunning, but there would be some complications. Yep. Because Saturn is so large, the Earth would quickly become its moon. And if Earth orbited around Saturn, it simply wouldn't be the Earth as we know today. Finally, moving on to the big guy, Jupiter. At okay. 41 times the size of the moon, you wouldn't even be able to see the north and south poles of the gas giant. Similar to the deal with Saturn, Earth would... And look at that! This is just... Wait, 41 times the size of the moon? Then why does this... Why does the Earth look as small as this? Which is apparently a, 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 a forever going hurricane, right? That's actually so crazy and it's so beautiful. And just that, look at that red spot. It's a little like red belly button. It's as big as the Earth. How is... Th Jupiter's way more than 41 times bigger than the moon. What the fuck are you talking about? Become Jupiter's moon. Only it would get worse. Because Jupiter is so massive, the side of the Earth that's closest to Jupiter would experience a stronger gravitational pull than the opposite side. This would distort the shape of the Earth. All this pulling apart would create frequent volcanic eruptions and violent earthquakes. Jupiter's gravitational Bro, pull- Bro, just say we'd be dead. Just say total catastrophe, obliteration, like, just say we're gonna get fucking shit on. That's all you gotta tear say. the Earth apart. So enjoy the view while it lasts. I didn't say it. This is not how I pictured my day. Remind me of that time we made Earth collide with Uranus. Oh, that was a stinky story. But we'll save that for another what if. Crashing into your anus? That oh my god, dude! No, that must suck. No. The worst option is Jupiter because it will tear the Earth apart. I think probably it's not the only one. Listen, there's only eight planets in the solar system. You said nine. There's no nine planets. If Pluto is not a planet. Same with Mercury, not a planet. But Mercury is a planet. Okay, we're counting that. Let, let's not let's not go that far. Okay, like let's let's give Mercury some respect here. Inbreeding? Bro, what kind of video? What is that thumbnail? My god. <laughs> I'll see you. I'll catch you guys in the next one, man. I'm gone, man. Fuck.